a lot of us as business owners, we love reading business books. We love being inspired by business books, but we've read the occasional book that was more or less a dud. It did not help us actually grow our company, didn't inspire us. Whenever I write a book, I am actually trying to make the business leader or business owner a million dollars. I mean, that's my goal. You are in business in order to make money. I know what you do with the money. You, you pay payroll, you pay a lot of money in taxes. You know, you don't get all that money and you need, the, the higher your payroll is, the more money you need to make. So you're under a lot of pressure. When I write a book, I'm trying to make everybody who reads it a million dollars a piece. And in this video, I wanna share with you three of my top selling business books and how each of these books will make you a million dollars. So I wanted to go through the three best-selling business books that I've written and talk about how they would make you a million dollars. This is Building a Story Brand. This book has sold, I'm, I'm quite honored that this book has sold over a million copies now. It, it's sort of amazing because the book is actually about a narrative structure, a story structure, and how you can filter your messaging through a story structure in order to invite customers into a story. That does not seem like a book that would sell a million dollars, but so many people have bought the book because it helped them come up with some sound bites that they can repeat over and over to get people to buy their products. So essentially the one big idea, the million dollar idea in the book, Building a Story Brand, start with the problem. And what I mean by that is if you talk 75% about the problem that your customer has and 25% about the product that you, that you can sell that solves the problem, you will sell a lot more products. So talk 75% about your customer's problem and 25% about the product that you sell that solves that problem, and you will sell a lot more products. Let me give you an example. Just the other day, I was with an executive team they sell dog bones and dog biscuits. It's a brand called Dream Bone. Dream Bone. They sell $100 million worth of dog bones every year. And w when we identified the problem that they solved, really the problem that the, you know, they were talking about how much dogs love it and it's a great product and it's a very healthy product. But, you know, the only reason I give a dog a bone, my dog, June Carter or Lucy, I, the only reason I give these dogs a bone is when I want to distract them. If I want to give them a treat, there's all sorts of things, I'll feed them from the table. But when I need them distracted for an hour, I go to somewhere and I buy a really tough bone and I put them back in the bedroom and close the door and we can have a meeting or a cocktail party or friends over for dinner and the dog is perfectly happy. And so we actually said, okay, the problem that, we, that, that that dream bone solves is we need to distract our dog. And so we came up with a tagline, I'm not going to share it with you because they paid me for it, but we came up with a tagline that is essentially a controlling idea, the problem your product solves. I would anticipate that that brand would go from 100 million to 200 million plus if they can actually put that tagline on packaging, buy the domain name, put it all over their marketing because you know identifying the problem that the product solves is what really grows a brand. So this book makes you a million dollars seven different ways, but the main way is it helps you identify the problem your product solves teaches you how to talk about that problem in a soundbite in such a way that if you repeat that soundbite, sales go up. How to grow your small business makes you a million dollars because it helps you professionalize your operation. As my business grew, it was basically organized chaos. We were certainly growing in revenue. We were growing in the number of people we, we employed. We were growing in the number of customers. We were growing, 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 but the, we didn't have systems and processes in order to professionalize our operations so that the business could grow and everybody would be healthy and we could actually distribute products and get them out there on time, uh, built with great quality, that sorts of thing. That has to happen with systems and processes. So that's, there's many ways that this book makes you a million dollars. When you have a machine that runs really, really well, that machine is a money printing machine. That's what a business actually is. It's a machine that prints money it exchanged value for dollars. That's what it does. And if the machine is broken, it's like, you remember that first car? My first car was a Datsun 510, and I used to have to go tinker with the carburetor for about 45 minutes just to get it the seven miles to my high school. So I'd walk into high school every morning smelling like gas. That's basically what most of our small businesses are. But imagine doing such a great tune-up or changing that to a fuel injector so that it runs predictably. Uh, the million dollar idea in this book is it turns your business into a predictable revenue machine. 
Now, this can make you a lot of money because the the money the, the business actually produces money, exchanges value for money in an efficient way using systems and processes. But another reason is if you ever want to sell your company, private equity or the new owner is going to say, is this a reliable, predictable revenue machine? And if they see that you have not installed systems and processes, they will pass you up or devalue that company. If you're looking for a three to five X multiple, you're going to get a one to two X multiple because you haven't installed the systems and processes yet. But if they look at your business and they say, look, we can actually, the leader can leave. We can put in a new leader. They can actually grow the business because the leader just has to manage the existing systems and processes. That business is going to do well. All right. The third book that I've written that will make you a million dollars. This book uh, is, as I record this YouTube video, it's in pre-order right now, but it's already on Amazon. It comes out in March of 2024. This book helps you leverage your expertise to become a coach. So if you are an expert at giving business advice, if you're an expert at hiring and firing, if you're an expert at cash flow and managing cash flow, if you're an expert in non-business related ideas, such as like parenting or counseling, therapy, if you are a financial advisor, if you're a financial advisor, you're a coach. If you're a real estate agent, you're a coach and you are selling your expertise on how to get into your dream house or how to sell your existing house. There's so many people who don't think of themselves as coaches, but they are coaches. And the million dollar idea here is a lot of us are experts at whatever we have expertise in, but we don't know how to make money doing it. You have a lot of intelligence, but you don't know how to make, a mo make money for that intelligence. And listen, if you're sitting down over coffee and you're giving somebody free advice, I mean, I've given advice before that I know the advice that I gave turned into $50 million. The problem is I didn't package that advice in such a way that I got paid for the value that I was offering. That's the key to running an effective, profitable coaching business. If you want to know how to do that, the book is Coach Builder, and it's available now. So if you are looking to leverage your expertise to turn it into a money-making, very easy, simple business, Coach Builder can do that for you. And I just had dinner for about three hours last night with a, a gentleman who, listen, he, he sent out an email to his list. He charged $150 for a webinar. The content of the webinar was extremely helpful. He turned on his iPhone. He turned on his iPhone and he delivered the webinar. He had 5,000 people on that webinar. 5,000 people paid him an early bird rate of $99 or $150 if they were late to attend that. He made well over $500,000, half a million dollars off of one webinar. So every time I write a book, I try to make you a million bucks. Coach Builder, if you, if you want to build a coaching business and leverage your expertise, it'll teach you how to do it. If you need to organize your business so it's a predictable revenue machine, this is for businesses who are probably past a million dollars or so and they're organized chaos, they have a problem and the, and the growth has created the problem. And now they need to organize and systematize that growth. And if you wanna identify seven talking points that if you repeat them over and over, just like magic, they grow your business. One of those talking points is the problem that you solve. This book, we've sold a million copies of this book. My guess is this book has created over a billion dollars in terms of value in the market. So I know that you don't have a lot of time to read. I know you're looking for ways to grow your business and grow yourself as efficiently as possible. These are the three ways that as an author, I am trying to help you. I hope they help you make a million dollars too. If they do, if any of these books have made you some money, would you put in the comments how these books have helped? And the main reason is I read these comments and I get really inspired and really encouraged and I sit down to write another book. Uh, you know, I don't need any more money, but I really do need people to say, Don, it's helping so much. Thank you so much. That's what gets me through to write another book. I want you to have your dream job and be successful at your dream job. Thanks for reading these books. I hope they, these three books make you $3 million. I hope I write three more that make you 3 million more. All right. God bless.